So here we have the Sailfish launcher for Android. It's in in very early beta and still has these buttons here. I don't know if it's gonna be gone or not. Anyway, first of all, let's select a select good ambience. Yeah, it actually works and it's, it's, in, it's on full HD. So it is running on an Xperia Z. As you can see, it's, it's a gorgeous device. But anyhow, this is the launcher. It works somehow like the the Sailfish OS, um, but it doesn't give you the same feeling. It is it is totally different. I mean, yeah, the look and feel, the, the the look of it, it is yeah, it's like Sailfish. But when you scroll, it's different. I think I think they should implement some some different movements into the, the launcher. Anyway, we have the open applications here, but they look weird. So let's. Does the swipe work? Yes, the swipe works. Let's open this. Yeah, it takes a, basically a screenshot of the app and puts it there. That's what it does. The swipe works, but the peeking doesn't work yet, so you can't peek at the moment. And the swipe to close actually brings the the uh, notification area so you are forced to either do this uh, yeah close it like that or maybe push the the, the multitasking menu bar on the exterior but it, it totally minimizes the home for now because the yeah because it's not it's not completely done yet so this one okay it's not working anyway we have the ambiances we have everything here and we, we also have the pudding menu it is yet a little bit buggy but it will be definitely fixed before submitted to the store so there we go settings and it will open the settings right away it is it is snappy it's, it's exactly like sailfish snappy but it feels that it's it is still running Android because when you when you open the app it is the native Android. We have a Yolo device, an actual Yolo device. It's my own. You can see uh, near a device with Android launcher. Um, well, obviously we have these three buttons here, but the thing is that uh, the the transitions are, are totally totally different from each other. Like on Yolo device, when you just do this, it will go snappy, but in this one, it's slow, and it feels that it's not sailfish. It is a little bit. It, it should be snappy. It should be faster. But on this, it's just right away. Uh, on this one, you, you actually wait a second. You can lock the device. No. Ah uh, no. Well, it's. I think from the look of it, it should be implemented to it. But on this one, you can just lock the device like this. Uh, on this, on the pulley menu, you have the settings. But on this, you have these options: camera settings, phone, blah blah. But they they should be they should be uh, implemented very soon. And sorry. Well, the battery is actually the battery status and the uh, antenna indicator. They are well hidden, but on this one, it is still yeah. There is still a lot of work to do. The swipe works as you can see, but not as good as this one. This one you can peek. Sorry, sorry. You can peek like this, and this one there's no peek. You have to just swipe it away. Doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah, these are the basic differences. Thanks.